Levon, uh, shall we look at some of your games? Like some sure. Games? Uh, I have to first change here. All right. So I was just taking a few positions uh, where you know you are making moves. That is, I would say typically you. Mm -hmm. So the first one, this one was called gangster move for some reason. <laughs> so tell us. Well, um, yeah. I can explain. Mm -hmm. I had this feeling that this might work or doesn't, mm -hmm. but I saw it. I saw this move like. Uh, when he while he was thinking okay and he was down to 18 minutes okay and i thought this is kind of a gangster stuff when he just plays his move and i immediately answered with rook f7 so if 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 you see the the video stream mm -hmm. what was the last move before that he made was it queen d5 i think so uh, yeah i think it was queen d5 yeah i cannot Get it here. Yeah, but so he basically yeah. plays queen d5, yeah. and uh, the immediately after he plays the move, I write it down and I take rook f7 just as a shock value. I had this feeling that this might not be a good move, but uh, because of this whole uh, kind of uh, psychological uh, unexpectedness of this move and uh, him being down on time, it worked. So it was a it was a risk, and it could could be not a good thing to do, but it worked. So it probably is a good idea then. Right. I see here uh, Sarvanan is saying that uh, he was standing right by when this move was played, Singfield 2018. <laughs> so and of course you saw until uh, you know Quincy one and this attack, and objectively this was great. Yeah, visually it looks good. And I've lost a couple of games against Topalov when he just kind of... You see, you think, uh, come on, this attack is never going to work, and then it suddenly works. Right. So, I've, I've, I wanted to play like uh, Topi at this moment. Sure, fair enough. Uh, next one is this, Levon. I mean... I, for those who are not aware of this game, I mean, who, who plays like this? This is... <laughs> seriously, man. Now, this is one of my, probably my most favorite moves that I ever played. Yeah, I mean, this is just incredible. So, can you take us, uh, you know, like, through how it came to your mind? Okay, I saw my rook being on b5. Okay. And then I saw him trying to play g3. All right. And I really look at the options, okay, I play like this, and then uh, he kind of sends my knight off. Mm -hmm. And uh, and also, psychologically, it's easy for me to play against uh, Yakovenko because I have a great uh, results against him. Also. Sure. I see. And so I was, I was thinking, how can I stop him from playing g3, and how can I add my rook into the game and then the g5 came naturally yeah i see in the chat but already the first, people are saying the like most yeah. of the yeah it is a classic already yeah g5 hg queen h5 and then suddenly everything makes sense i mean because if he plays c4 then i get this uh, grip over the center uh -huh. but if he doesn't then uh, and also his knight becomes very stupid on d2 Mm -hmm. And if he doesn't, then my rook uh, joins the game. Right. And I also kind of enjoyed this, you know, like later in the game when I had this knight on a5. Mm -hmm. It's such an ugly knight. Yeah. But I, I was kind of really enjoying it because to me it seemed like this is some sort of a, a symphony mm -hmm. where you, like, have lots of... Uh, Passages that don't seem so beautiful, right? But they're required for the whole uh, picture. <laughs> yeah. No, this is like you're playing Benko Gambit on King's side. Yeah, G five eight six. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the rook is joining through B seven. I mean, if yeah. it's not careful. Right. Yeah, it joins uh, eventually. Uh, so again, this pawn was uh, 
again sacrificed. Yeah. Yeah, I saw yeah. this knight c4 and I thought this should be winning. Sure. And probably it should be. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, this is another of your uh, romantic games, I would say. <laughs> And uh, I remember in 2008 when I actually saw this game first time, I felt, wow, like what a calculation and imagination, especially your 28th move in this game. Yeah, yeah. So did you see this uh, final combination from here? No, no, I was too excited. I mean, I could have won easily with 22nd move, right? D. Yeah, D. Is but then I saw this 94 and I saw this queen takes g7 and I thought, okay. There's nothing that can save him. Mm -hmm. And then when he played knight g6, here I started thinking, I mean, I can also win with knight g5, but here I started calculating. Mm -hmm. And I decided to calculate it till the end, and it wasn't too hard. Yeah, good place to start the calculation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, and this was, this was really brilliant. I mean, this particular move, you win the game only because of the following move in this position, right? Yeah. Like this, you really have to spot. Yeah, it's very tough to, you know, have a show with you of uh, two shows and to try to come up with many positions because I have like just so many that I want to ask that it's very difficult to choose. Uh, this yeah. is another one. Uh, yeah, this was, uh, I think this Rook F3 was coming because... Uh, I mean, uh, his play was too passive at, at that moment. So I thought that there has to be some something like Rook F3 at this moment. Sure, sure. And this was also, okay, playing this in candidates against uh, Magnus is also something special, yeah? Yeah, well, he was very little back then. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> wait a second, this candidates, I think I was also there. I was uh, helping Shirov. Uh, was it, remind me, was it this candidates where you had this uh, rook pawn endgame position and uh, you played this king d6? Let me set up the position. That I missed the win. Yes, yes, it definitely was here. Yeah, that I missed the win. No, wait. Uh, you mean uh, you uh, you won that game, right? This uh, You played this rook d6. You tricked him, no? He didn't play king g6. The rook pawn endgame. I'm I don't remember. I, I know that I've missed one win. Wait, in, I'll... In, I'll in, I'll tell you what position I'm talking about. I'm talking about... Uh... Oh, against Magnus! Yeah, against no, no, Magnus. no. Uh, it was in Tal Memorial. It, ah, was, was... Uh, it was 2005 or something. Yeah, like I'm talking about this Rook D6, right? He didn't play King G6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then... Ah, this was not in Elista. No, no, no. no. Ah, okay, okay. All right, I have to get this one again. Oh yeah, this is one of my favorite moves as well. Yeah, I that I ever played. I mean, it's so difficult, Levon, to you know, to make a list of this because you. I mean, I have so many favorite uh, moves of yours, and also like I collected from like, some of my friends, and the list is so long that it's just impossible to cover everything. Yeah, I, I saw this bishop d4 idea and I kind of fell in love with this f5 because knight f6 just leads to a draw. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, which is a sane option. Mm -hmm. But then uh, and this was an important game for me, very important. I think draw was a good result for me, but I, I got too excited. <laughs> and, and bishop d4 does not work because of knight b5, yeah? That's the main point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in order to make over. bishop d4 work, you are playing uh, f5. Yes. Amazing. And then it was really, really interesting what happens after that. Yeah, with f6, king h8, and and the fact he actually didn't, he shouldn't have taken my rook, which is like really, really weird. Sorry, when? Uh, like ah, here, f7, yeah. queen c6, and here. Taking, I think, it was not the good option for him. Seriously? Or maybe it was, yeah, for some reason, because there was, ah, in order to have like f3, knight, e5, that he can move his knight. At some point, <laughs> there was such thing, because of bishop f6. <laughs> yeah.
or maybe 95 i don't remember precisely mm -hmm. well i don't want to turn on engine and ruin it we can always check that later but yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we get the idea and after he took that i had this completely winning position but i just uh yeah i was so proud of myself that <laughs> i just blundered something very simple yeah it's just G yeah I forgot he can play knight of two yeah 95 was winning on the spot ah, gft knight of two yeah sure all right. Uh, okay. Uh, this one happened. Uh, ev I think every Indian was seeing this live, and it's it's a pity that it happened with uh, our team. Uh, but still, yeah. I, I cannot. Uh, you know, I, we have to appreciate the beauty also. I want to just ask one thing: At what point you saw the trick? No, I saw it already here when uh, I saw that he can just make a draw with queen g5 check. I mean, he doesn't have to do all kinds of things, but I was there sitting praying yeah, simple, and, yeah. and telling to myself, oh, maybe, maybe he will not see it. So I was kind of pretending I'm just repeating the moves. Right. And then for him to think that it's safe to put this bishop on c2. Ah. <laughs> tricky, tricky. Yeah, yeah. But before was amazing. Like uh, it's also a very unique trick. I haven't seen this. Uh, I actually haven't seen this ever. Like this kind of uh, this kind of domination, I have never seen before. Not even in well, composition. I love domination over my, uh, little pieces like bishop. So yeah. Wonderful.